Before opening up the Asus RTX 55, note that there is a seal at the top of one of the screws from the rear side. And I know you can't see it in the video, but this is actually the second time I opened this router, so the seal is long gone. Will it void the warranty if you break the seal? It shouldn't in the US, but every other country has its own rules and regulations. Still, it's not really fair for them to discourage the router disassembly. Routers do accumulate dust over time, even if it's just passive cooling. Besides the two screws near the ports, Asus has also included a couple of them underneath the large silicone pads. Take all the screws out and then use a prying tool to gently detach the bottom part. Yes, you heard that right, this is one of the few routers that I opened which has the PCB attached to the upper plastic section of the case. We can also see that there is a lot of unused space, so the router could have been even smaller. In any case, I could see the heatsink and the two antennas were connected, as usual, to the board, while the other two are soldered, which is very uncharacteristic for Asus. The problem is that I noticed other uncharacteristic aspects, such as the low quality screws, the fragile hinges, and overall the entire board felt that it may fall apart while checking for its components. This is the first router that had me worried it may not turn on again after putting it back together. Anyway, the heatsink needed to go, so I had to turn the board upside down. This can be done by removing the screws holding it to the case and then also taking out the heatsink screws. I also saw one of the main components here, but the rest can be found on the other side beneath the aluminum cover. If you think I'm moving too fast, please make sure to pause the video at any time. That's about all for this video, please let me know if you want to see the full review of this router and hopefully it will work again after I put it back together. Thank you for watching and see you next time.